Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to show you some of the tips and tricks which you can use while using the default iGo Maps navigation on your Digipad. Now the iGo Maps navigation are the default maps available in place of the Google Maps which Honda should have given in our Digipad. But nevertheless I have still shown you how you can download and install Google Maps too. But in case you are not using Google Maps and are used to using the default navigation iGo Maps, in this video you will learn some of the new tips and tricks which you can use while using these maps. So let's just go ahead and open up the default navigation of the Digipad that is the iGo Maps. Now make sure you have your maps SD card placed inside the digipad otherwise it is not going to work well. So if you have a maps SD card your iGo maps is going to work really fine and right now as you are seeing on the screen my iGo maps has opened up and this is the default screen and you can slide around the screen easily and here is the marker of my car where my car is particularly placed right now. So the iGo maps are not exactly to the level of the google maps you can still use the iGo maps in order to use navigation on your car in place of the google maps. But I will still recommend you to use Google Maps and in case you haven't downloaded and installed the Google Maps yet, I am going to give you a link right here on top of this video. So let's just go ahead and click on that link and you will be able to download and install the Google Maps on your Digipad. So let's just go ahead and show you some of the tips and tricks in the iGo Maps navigation. So the first trick which I wanted to show you guys is that the iGo Maps navigation itself has a speedometer built in within inside it. Now most of you might have already seen it and already may be using it but I think not everyone has seen this uh, secret speedometer which is in the digipad. So let me just go ahead and show you. Now as you can see there is a north button right here on the left below screen so let's go ahead and click on the north button or the magnetic orientation button and here you go here is the default speedometer of the iGo Maps navigation. So in the center you will see a speedometer a digital speedometer here you are going to see the altitude of the current location and the magnetic heading of where your car is directed towards so, and also there is a trip summary right here that is going to show you the arrival point the time left and the distance covered once you start the trip meter whenever you start the iGo navigation and if you click on the trip summary right here it is going to give you a detailed database of when your trip started when your trip ended what was the average speed of the car in that particular trip the driving average speed and the maximum speed reached the total time the driving time and also the stopping time between the trip if you have stopped somewhere and the minimum and the maximum altitude and not to mention the total distance you get a complete trip summary within the iGo maps navigation and i think most of you might not have used this or may have seen this once in a while but not exactly used it anytime so this is available in the default iGo maps navigation and it's a very useful feature and as i showed you if you don't have a digital speedometer in your car you can use the iGo maps navigation default speedometer which is available right here and it looks really elegant and it looks really smart and this is something which you can use whenever you are traveling and in case you haven't installed google maps or any of the speedometers which i have shown you on my channel you can use this default digital speedometer in the digipad in your car so this is the first trick which i wanted to show you you just have to go and click on the heading button right below here is the heading button and you're going to access the digital speedometer so that is the first trick so let's just go ahead and show you some of the other tricks so in order to access the other tricks you need to press the three bar icon here that is the menu icon so if you just go ahead and click on the menu icon you will be greeted with a menu on top of the screen and here is an option called as the useful information feature so if you click on this useful information now here there are several other options which open up in the useful information feature now here is the first option which shows as where am i so if you just click on the where am i button it is going to give you your exact latitude and longitude position in case you want to know the latitude and longitude of a particular place you can go ahead and do this you can go ahead and park the car in that particular place and you can click on the where am i button and it is going to give you an exact latitude and longitude of that particular position accessed by the gps so that is the first option and the second option is whenever you're traveling and you are in an unknown territory or a new place there are certain things which you need to get access to maybe it may be your pharmaceuticals a medical shop or a police station or something like that so there is an option called as help nearby right here in the second place so here you can access some of the nearby features which are loaded up in the iGo maps default navigation and some of those features are the car repair option and a health option the police and the petrol station so if i just go ahead and click on the car repair option it is going to show me the nearest uh, automobile workshops uh, so now the nearest is showing as 350 meters and the second one is at the 550 meter distance so it is going to give me a list of the automobile 
automobile workshop so whenever in case you have an emergency with your car there is some breakdown or there is some technical issue with the car you can access this and it's a very useful feature because uh, only when this happens we get to realize how useful these features are so you can access the workshops right here and the second is the health option so if you click on the health option you're going to get access to all the medical all the pharmaceutical shops and also the clinics and the hospital whichever is nearby it is going to be shown on top of the list so if there is some me medical emergency or a health emergency and you are in a place where you are new and you don't know the surroundings you can get access to a pet clinic also and the nearest medical shops also everything is available within the default maps of the iGo navigation and the third is a police now this is very important in these days whenever there is an accident or there is a robbery or there is any other sort of a law and order issue on the road so you can access the nearest police station and if you want to know the ad address of the nearest police station it is, if you just go ahead and click on that now as you can see it is giving me a list of police stations which are very much nearby to my car location so that is a police station and the next thing is the petrol station last but not the least this is extremely important and if you're running low on fuel and you are in a new area where you don't know where the nearest petrol station is you can just go ahead click on the iGo maps and click on the help nearby button and you can get access to the nearest petrol pumps now it is giving me a list of all the petrol pumps and also showing me the approximate distance to that petrol station and the nearest one is showing me about 850 meters that is less than a kilometer so this is a very useful feature built in within iGo maps and i don't think many of you have seen this or even know this so this is why i wanted to make this video i wanted to inform you guys this very important but ignored features of the iGo maps so this is the second trick and the second useful information which i wanted to show you guys so the third thing which i wanted to show you about the iGo maps is the sunrise and the sunset information so if you just click on the sunrise and sunset you are going to get the exact sunrise time and the sunset time of that particular area where the car is parked of where the gps is catching the location from so in case you are in a position you want to know the sunrise or sunset times of that particular place on that particular day so you are going to get access to that also within your iGo maps navigation and lastly but not the least you are going to get a detailed gps information within the iGo maps so if you just go ahead and click on the gps information button you are going to get a detailed view of how many satellites are connected to the gps signal of your car and the signal strength is showing and also the particular location of the gps satellites in relation to your car and also it is showing the accuracy as high you, that means your car's location is approximately exactly the same to where your car is actually parked so this is a detailed gps information and it is visible and it is available within your iGo maps so this is also a very important feature so all these tricks are available within the iGo maps so you can get access to all of this immediately and instantly because the iGo maps is default in the digipad and you don't need to install anything extra to get access to these features so the next trick which I wanted to inform you guys about in the iGo maps navigation is that once again you need to go ahead and click on the menu button and scroll down to the right side of the menu so here is a right arrow button so if you just click on that you will get access to a settings button right here so if you just go ahead and click on the settings button now here you can get access to uh, the display settings so if you just go ahead and click on the display settings now there are you get two options such as day skin theme and night skin theme so if you just click on the day skin theme now it is going to ask me if i wanted a bright or a dark theme so if i just click on the dark theme so as you can see the display turn dark and this is extremely useful for people who get disturbed by the bright glow of the avian system during driving and especially at night if the avian system is glowing very brightly your the visibility of the road becomes less so in order to make it better you can opt for a dark theme all through the day or you can opt for a dark theme only at night so right now let me just go ahead and select the bright button and also there is a night skin theme also even night if you want a bright selection if you want the screen to be bright even at night for you you can go ahead and click on the bright button and the bright theme will pop up and the white background will pop up and in case you prefer a dull screen at night so that you your eyes don't get irritated or your eyes won't get disturbed you can select a dark theme for night also so this is the next feature which i wanted to show you guys so well let's just go back and show you some of the other hidden features of the iGo maps navigation so right now i just showed you the display option so the next trick which i wanted to show you lies here in the navigation view option so just go ahead and click on the navigation view and here on top there is an option called as the map appearance so just go ahead and click on the map appearance 
and right now there are two options here which are the day map colors and the night map colors so these two options are very helpful in improving or enhancing the overall look of the igo maps so let me just go ahead and click on the day map colors button right here so if i just click on the day map colors right here your default maps navigation colors are visible right now so you might be wondering what's so special about it well here is a default day colors written right here and there are two arrows on the left and right side so if i click on the right arrow button right here so it is going to change into the default night color as you just saw and you can set this in order to use it in daytime or at night time according to your preference and the next certain colored features are very nice and some of them i really like them so even you can use this in your car to make your car look even more better even more enhanced and the maps looks even more better while using them at night so let me just go ahead and click on the next one so this is the easy daytime wherein a uh, gives up a faint pinkish glow on the screen and the uh, colors somewhat changed to give your eyes a more relaxed look so if i just click next it is going to give you a easy night so in the easy night uh, the view becomes even more dull the roads become even more grayish and it becomes a bit more dull and dark so that your eyes are extremely comfortable while watching the screen at night so if i just go ahead this is a jove day time the borders are highlighted the road borders are highlighted and there is as you can see there is a red border which has been highlighted off the highway if i just click next this is a jove night so jove day jove night two separate options are there and the next one is the minimum minimal guri so this is a separate color option for the map uh, very much different from the default uh, setting if i just click next this is the old school day time i mean the, this is another color pattern another color section for your uh, maps uh, maps uh, appearance and this is one of my favorite this is the old school night the roads are looking extremely bright in a neon blue color and this looks very good at night and i want you guys to try this out i want you guys to set this color scheme for your map and use this maps at night and you will be really happy to use igo maps from now on so this is a very enhanced looking and a very futuristic looking map color scheme so this is one of the another features so the another color scheme is there that is called as the silver day colors there are many more uh, options such as silver night colors also topographic elevation colors default day color so there are 12 color schemes which you can use for your maps and you can set them individually which one whichever one you want to use in the morning time that is the day time and which one you want to use at the night time so there are 12 different color schemes available for individually for day and the night time also so this is one of the most important feature and a most uh, visually enhancing feature of the igo maps which i wanted to show you guys and i think you guys should use the old school night theme it looks really nice and i specifically like that a lot so these are some of the tricks uh, which i wanted to show you regarding the igo maps and the last trick which i wanted to show you about of the igo maps is if you just click on the screen right here there is a 3d and a 2d button right down below on the screen so right now it is set in the 3d button so if i just go ahead and click on the 2d the map changes its uh, perspective and it goes from top of the screen so if you want a 2d with a Uh, navigation locked on onto the north so the car is going to be uh, positioned in a north manner and only the map is going to move about and the car is always going to stay in the north so if i just go ahead and click on the 3d option again the map's camera perspective is going to change and as you're seeing right now the land which was flat right now is becoming tilted and it is going to give you a three dimensional look a three dimensional option if you want to use that so this is one of the another feature which i wanted to show you which i wanted to highlight you regarding the igo map here are some of the important features some of the hidden and the secret features of the igo map and i think most of you might not have used them ever till now and uh, this is something which you guys can really use if you are using a igo maps or if you are a user of igo maps but i seriously recommend you to go ahead and download and install the google maps for digipad and if you haven't done that i'll leave a link in the description also so go ahead download and install google maps but if you are a person who uses igo maps and is comfortable using them here are some of the tips and tricks which you can use in order to enhance your usage and nevertheless your car is going to have igo maps all the time even if you have google maps or not so just in case sometimes when you do get to use igo maps when you are forced to use igo maps you can use these some of the certain tricks which you can which i just showed you in this video right now and you can enhance your experience of your igo maps and get a better feel out of your digipad now there are certain more features certain more important aspects of the igo maps as well 
and I'm going to show you that all of those in the upcoming video on the Igo Maps, which I'm going to bring out very soon. I'm going to give you a full detailed review of the Igo Maps pretty much soon. So stay tuned to my channel, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'm thinking it's about time you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, do give a thumbs up, and also don't forget to comment on this video. Thank you for watching, guys. This is Travel Tech signing off, and have a really nice day.